The desire for a common metric is understandable. Uh, however, I think it's a fool's errand, and I think it's a red herring. And I think people need to accept that the world of media and advertising is a lot more complex than it used to be. And to try to unify in some kind of lowest common denominator one way to interpret everything, it's just wrong. Uh, welcome to the new world. You need to have multiple ways to measure multiple things. Uh, good data science will then find patterns, find ways to connect the dots. Um, you'll test and learn, you'll experiment, you'll figure out that a completion or a video view of something that is three seconds on one environment, to think rationally that you can equate that to a 30 second TV, it, it just, it, it doesn't make sense to do it anymore. So I, I would actually humbly request of the industry to stop, please, uh, asking for one single metric um, and instead ask ourselves to take on more complex modeling and thinking um, so that we don't end up with lowest common denominator thinking, but we really understand uh, the true value of things uh, for the content and context that they are. The convergence with TV and digital, um, it's obviously a real thing. Uh, I've been at these conferences now for many, many years, and inevitably uh, we ask, what is TV? Is TV the screen? Is TV the content? Um, is it a delivery mechanism on your iPad because it was by ABC? And, you know, kind of like uh, measurement, there, there is no one single answer. We, we don't have to get to one single answer. The answer is ultimately it means different things to different people, fine. So what I think is next is an acceptance of that fact. And I'll use the, uh, the metaphor of matched luggage. A beautiful Louis Vuitton matched luggage set all looks the same. The leather's the same, the logos are the same, but there's the overnight bag, there's the five day vacation bag, there's the going to Europe for two weeks bag. And they all look the same, they all fit a purpose. And that's where I think we're going next, is that we're accepting that you can have a degree of unification, but that there is the, the right kind of video, the right kind of content for the right kind of channel in front of the right kind of person at a certain time. Um, so I think this whole customer journey connection actually will really help in making that a, a reality uh, and the ability to understand what a person uh, experienced before will help determine what they should experience next uh, and that that will become the norm and that to me is really the next step in this uh, world of uh, video convergence. So uh, Innovid is not in the media game, right? We're not also a major advertiser uh, buying media. However, uh, we are the biggest dedicated video ad server in the world. And so we see probably 30 to 40% of all video impressions that are bought in paid media run through Innovid Pipes. So I can tell you that uh, the OTT environments are absolutely hands down where we're seeing the highest growth, uh, where we're seeing the most education uh, necessary, where we're seeing a lot of experimentation. Uh, we're seeing agencies and brands trying to figure out uh, like knowing that they have to be there, but asking exactly when and how and what should I measure and what are the creative impact and what kind of data can get passed back and should I do long tail, should it be premium? Uh, so to, to us, we're seeing that really emerge as the place that is the new breeding ground, if you will, for, um, for video buying and, and learning and it's one of the reasons why Innovit has invested a lot in to, to become an OTT leader.